As early as I can remember, I've wanted to be an artist. My father would draw little pictures of animals that I would carry in my pockets. Besides reading books, it took me into a place that didn't have violence in it, didn't have hunger. It was just the most wonderful place to be. You know, sometimes just doing charcoal drawings just for the sake of just moving my hand and not really thinking about a subject or a topic and so I make drawings that have seed pods and petroglyphs, things that I've seen in my travels. And it's sort of a meditative process. In high school, I decided that I did, yes, want to go to college and take art. At the end of the year, the professor called me into his office and said, you can draw better than the men, but I have to tell you, you need to go into another field because he said, you'll never be able to be an artist. Women are not artists. I like to use maps because maps can tell stories. So what I did with this particular map is to erase all European presence. I eliminated every state that has a European name and I kept only the states that have Native American names, because the whole place was ours until the invasion came, the Great Invasion. Part of what I do in my work is using my work as a platform for my beliefs. And can I tell a story? Can I make it a good story? Can I add some humor to it? Um, can I get your attention? Those are all things that I try to do with my artwork. It's not always successful, but it's important to speak up when you believe in something so strongly. And I passionately believe in the life that I live. And so um, I think that my work will probably go on being political in some way.